this is our St. Patrick's Day pack. I'm super excited about it. We have carrots, potatoes, and kind of a lot of potatoes. I don't know if you can see really how many are there, but it's a few pounds. Three onions. We did, there weren't really Irish fruits that were completely obvious to us, so we kind of stuck with the colors orange and green, like the Irish flag. So you've got some limes as well as some oranges which I think are always good. I like to keep our packs a little balanced between the fruits and the veggies. We have cabbage, of course, and mushrooms, and turnips. And while I was researching for this pack, I learned that in Ireland, largely today, they eat a lot of turnips compared to potatoes, probably because that crazy old potato famine. But, you know, um, we also have parsley and thyme in the pack. I kind of set the pack up so that you could use the kale from the basket with the potatoes to do cold cannon. You can also do corned beef with cabbage and use some onions in there, some carrots, some potatoes. You can also cut up the turnips and use those in there. You could also do an Irish stew. Um, that sounded good. And then last but not least, our dessert cake. It's green. We like it for St. Patrick's Day. Kind of looks scary. It tastes like mint chocolate chip ice cream. Super delicious. We we had it several years ago, and we kind of were craving it again. So despite the food coloring, we went with it. It's one day out of the year, one meal, and we figure give them give it to them right before bed and send them off to bed. Um, also, thyme. If you haven't used it, fresh thyme is my new friend. I learned how to use it this year, and I just adore it with beef. Uh, beef and thyme are like a match made in heaven. So you can use it not only for your stews, where it is also absolutely delicious and adds quite a bit of depth, but you can use it in any sort of rub or marinade. It also dries out really easily in the oven or the dehydrator, and you can store it dry. So if you don't use all of that, um, you can keep it for later and use it in meat rubs. Anyway, I hope you enjoy your St. Patrick's Day pack and have a very happy St. Patrick's